applying review techniques in this tutorial we'll see how you can apply different review techniques so what all um, individual review techniques are available so let's see uh, the individual review techniques so uh, the first one is the ad hoc uh, checklist based scenarios and dry runs role based and perspective based so these are uh, some of the individual review techniques that might be utilized when you are doing the uh, reviews or inspection so uh, these are some of the individual review techniques that can be applied now let us see how these review what these review techniques are and how they, they can be applied uh, in the review process so ad hoc when you're doing ad hoc review um, there is basically no preparation required what uh, how it happens is you uh, gather uh, or team members gather and then uh, whosoever is uh, the facilitator he um, provides all the relevant relevant documents um, and then the reviewers in the meeting room or reviewers in the room they just read the document and then collate the issue so there is no uh, preparation required or there is nothing uh, as such being provided to perform the review it's an ad hoc in nature and it is very much dependent on the reviewer skills so depending on who is performing that review so for example you're working in in a particular testing project and you have also good knowledge or good domain knowledge of that particular uh, project then uh, obviously you are going to figure out more number of issues and 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 problems um, if you are doing the ad hoc review or re going through the documents that are being provided to you rather than the person who is particularly uh, who is comparatively new to the project um, and to the domain so he'll uh, not be able to uh, figure out a lot of problems because he hasn't been in that particular domain for a while so uh, in ad hoc review it's very much dependent on the reviewer skills who is reviewing and then um, it's very ad hoc in nature and there is no preparation required when you are going for the ad hoc review uh, the next uh, is the checklist based review and what uh, happens in checklist based review is uh, there is a, it is a systematic review technique and whosoever is facilitating this review so facilitator what he does is he he prepares a checklist and he distributes that particular checklist with the reviewers in the um, in the team now uh, what this checklist does is it has all the uh, necessary questions uh, that are required to perform the review of the particular document or component that you are uh, going to review and those questions or questionnaire that is uh, prepared in the checklist needs to be answered by the people uh, who are doing the review and uh, checklists are very dynamic and they need to be updated uh, and maintained regularly so they are relevant to the product or the particular component that you are going to review and these checklists are maintained and updated regularly whenever um, the next review happens depending on what you are going to review there there might be another checklist that need to be prepared so checklist uh, based is completely opposite of the ad hoc it needs preparation it's systematic but ad hoc is uh, not uh, prepared it's it's um, sort of ad hoc in nature so the next one is the scenarios and dry runs so what happens in scenarios and dry runs is um, reviewers uh, are provided with the structured guidelines and these guidelines could be in the form of um, the use cases or end user scenarios and what reviewers do is based on these guidelines or uh, the approaches that they have been provided they perform the dry runs or um, they perform how the end user is going to interact with the system and if there might be any combinations or then is is there any other possibility 
in which the end user might, might interact with the system so uh, in scenario based approach you have the structured guidelines you have a uh, structured uh, set of uh, requirements and documents provided and with those documents what reviewers do is they do sort of um, uh, dry run and within dry run they think about the scenarios that could be possibly um, uh, vague or need more clarification or might be gap in those scenarios so that's uh, how scenarios and dry runs uh, happen and these this is also a systematic and structured approach the next one is the role based and in role based approach what happens is whosoever is doing the reviews so they evaluate the work work product from the perspective of individual stakeholder roles so for example uh, you are working in an organization so there are many roles in the team so for example uh, test manager director tester uh, team lead uh, similarly in other business domains you have uh, other uh, people for example hr manager etc so these are all different roles in an organization and when you are uh, doing a review for uh, any uh, product or application uh, then you need to consider what all roles might be uh, using or what all roles are required for that particular software or who all will be using that particular application uh, so depending on that you put yourself in each of those roles uh, and then see how uh, as as per that particular role what all possible issues might be um, might you uh, you might be able to figure out in the particular product now the next um, one is the perspective based so in perspective based what reviewers do is reviewers take on different stakeholder viewpoints while they are doing the individual reviewing so it's kind of um, you can correlate it with the role based uh, and there is a, a bit of difference between role based and uh, perspective based so in role based you um, put yourself in the shoes of the particular role in the organization um, however in the perspective based you uh, for that particular role what all different perspectives are possible so for example in the role you can have um, you know a, a system administrator role or a test manager role or a director role so these sort of roles are possible uh, in the role based however in perspective based you are putting yourself um, in the in the uh, in a different perspective say for example how a particular uh, user will interact with the system when when he's an end user or uh, he's a he's a person from the marketing uh, perspective so how will that particular person see the system uh, or uh, when a person is from some other department how will that particular system, uh, person will see or interact with the system so that's uh, about the perspective based uh, wherein the stakeholder viewpoints um, or stakeholders take different viewpoints um, when they are doing the individual review so these are some of the individual review techniques and depending on what review techniques you utilize the effectiveness of that particular review technique or the effectiveness uh, of the quality of the review will vary based on what review technique you apply in the particular project. Thank you.